Welcome to Lowe's Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. I'm Joseph Lombard and I will bring you full coverage of today's race. Starting on the pole will be Mountain Dew Freak 199 and on the outside is Magical Lemon 01. The points leader in 2SC4 is starts 7th tonight. Last week's winner at Richmond starts 4th. And he is the sixth car of Scope Seeker. Well, Pace Car is going to pull away. It'll be a 20 lap shootout here at Lowe's Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca Cola 600. Mountain Dew Freak 199 in the 17 car will lead them down to the green flag. Here we go. Green flags out. We're underway. Coming off turn 4, they're already 3 wide for 2nd, coming to complete the 1st lap, Mountain Dew Freak 199 will lead the 1st lap. As you look for the battle for 2nd, ooh! Magical Lemon 01 just got in the wall. He just got in the wall. Magical Lemon 01, nice of a car, he started 2nd tonight, and now he's gonna fall back even more. Let's go back up to the front. Mountain Dew Freak 199 is lane followed by into a C4 second and the Spire Tray th third. Lap 2 is completed. We have 18 laps to go. Here comes into a C4 for the lead. For the lead. Oh, now we got trouble in turn 1. One car is almost upside down. And I think that's Timur 3A7 that almost went upside down. But we'll check on the replays in just a second. Here comes a battle coming back to the caution flag. Counter Johnson Racing is going for the race lead. And guess what? He will lead it coming to the caution. And here's what happened in turn 1. It looks like the 27 car B3B Freaky 1 got into Timmer 387. Look at that. Timmer 387 goes almost upside down. He goes on his side. Man, what a horrific crash. B Dog Gaming in the 5 car also involved. The 67 car of NASCAR Man 14 is involved as well. But man, a scary wreck for Timmer 387 as he goes on his side, almost upside down. Thank God he lands back on his wheels. Here we go, coming back to the restart with uh, 13 laps to go. Celtic Johnson Racing is leading. What if Racing second in? Into SC4 third. Green flag is back out. Someone already down on the inside already. That's Charlie three A seven. He is battling for the seventh spot, trying to pass Timur. Th I mean, the Spider Tray. Here comes a battle for the race lead. Here comes What If Racing for the lead. But it looks like he's not going to keep that lead for long. Here comes into SC four back for the lead. Points leader into SC four. Is battling for lead. Oh, here we go. Three wide for lead. How about Kai Cleveland in the two car also battling? Ooh, 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 ooh! Into SC4 and what if Racy makes some contact? Nothing too serious. Here comes the battle for the race lead again. Here comes the 12 car of NASCAR 2011 fan for the race lead. Look at the battle back here. Here we go, 11 laps to go. Here comes Charlie 4847 for the race lead. Charlie 4847 for the race lead, but not for long. Ooh, my gosh, almost a wreck there. Here comes Kelta Johnson Racing for the lead. Coming to 10 laps to go this time by. Ooh, look at that pack back there. It looks like they're about to wreck. I don't know. Oh, there they go! Into SC4, the points leader is crash. Now it's the big one here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. And now we got one car upside down and stuff. Tony Terry Tyler is upside down. And then now we got another wreck. Charlie 7847 and NASCAR 2011 fan crash in turn one. 
Here's what happened to bring out the big one. Or it looks like Blover King in the night car came up and made contact with Intu SC4. And there they go around. What if racing gets involved? There's Scope Seeker, last week's winner at Richmond, gets involved. Blover King still gets involved. Look how many drivers are dodging into the grass. Now watch Scope Seeker. Almost upside down here. But watch the one car in the Pennzoil. Look at F1 Steel just slams into the side of the one car of Tony Terry Tyler 1. And there goes Tony Terry Tyler 1. Upside down, he barrel rolls once. And then he's going to slide onto his roof right in front of 3B Freaky 1. Soup Jr. 48 involved. Bonnie Award involved. And there goes the Terry Tony Terry Tyler 1 in the one car. Just lands back on his wheels. And here's the other wreck coming into turn 1. Watch Mountain Dew Freak 199 goes up into makes contact with Charlie 7847. Sends him and NASCAR 2011 fan into the outside wall. So tough break for those guys. Look at the pace car just zooming out there. Here we go. Pace car is off. It will be 7 laps to go. Kelty Johnson Racing leads. Here comes Kyle Cleveland going for second, trying to pass Mountain Dew Freak 199 in the 17 car. And falling right behind him is Hoover 75. Kelty Johnson Racing still leads. Ooh, man. Hoover 75 almost gets into car Cleveland. I tell you, coming to six laps to go this time by, it's gonna get wild. Six to go. Man, it's gonna be a type out. Here comes Hoover 75 for the lead. Hoover 75 takes the lead and falling right behind this Team 48 Lowe's. But here comes Team 48 Lowe's. Team 48 Lowe's has already got a win earlier this season. He won earlier at Darlington. Here comes NYY Force 20 in the 30 car. Ooh, man. NYY Force 20 in the 30 car trying to battle for the race lead. Four laps to go. Oh, oh boy. Look at that. Contact between Team 48 Lowe's and Hoover 75. Down the back straightaway. This time by it will be three laps to go. Here comes Blover King in the 9 car. And second in points is ML24JG in the 20 car. He's already got 3 wins this season. He's going to try and make a charge for 4 tonight. 3 laps to go. NYY Force 20 leads. Here comes the 20 car of ML24JG for the lead. Oh, 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 oh. Blover King. Save it, save it, save it. No. Blover King goes around. Team 48 Flows goes gets involved. Caution will be out, but this is the race for the win. This means this is the caution. This will make it official. This is a battle for the win. NYY Force 20 ML 24 JG. And coming to the coming to the caution to take the checkered flag. NYY Force 20 will win the Coca-Cola 600. And here's what happened to bring out the caution here. Oh, it looks like Kelty Johnson Racing get goes and makes contact with Blover King. Now look at this. It looks like Blover King was gonna save it here, but he just could not. And there he goes around, goes slamming into the outside wall. And he, look at Retro Mountain Dew Man in the A car also gets involved. Team 48 Lowe's gets involved. Um, oh man, and. Retro Mountain Dew Man gets slammed by Super Dog 316. Kloops 43 is also involved. And watch this here. Also, NASCAR Mario 83 gets involved. Alright. Well, it's official. Coming to the checker flag under caution. NYY Force 20 will win the Coca Cola 600 here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. ML24JG 2nd, JGO NASCAR 3rd, The Spire Trade 4th, Miles 24th, 5th, Calcutta Johnson Racing 6th, Magical Lemon 01 7th, Car Cleveland 8th, What If Racing 9th, and Hoover 75 rounds up the top 10. 
As you see, the rest of the finishing order, N2SC4 finishes 12. He came in here as the points leader. He is not anymore. ML24JG will be the new points leader. We will show you the points lead, the points settings in just a minute. And listen here, guys. Only 20 cars finish this race. Yes, that's right. Only 20 cars finish this race. The other 22 drivers got involved in wrecks. So, man, what amazing... Only 20 cars finish this race. As you see the rest of the finishing order here. I want to mention to you that Tony Terry Tyler 1 and Timmer 387 is alright after taking scary rides. And B-Dog Gaming will finish 42nd last place. Here are the point settings after race 12 of 36. ML24JG only leads the point settings by 1 point over into SC4. What if racing 3rd in points, 178 points back. Clark Cleveland, 5th in points, 197 points back. Mount to do Freak, 199, 200 points back in 6th. And Miles 24 Fig will round out the top 10 points, 255 points back. Retro Mount to do Man, 11th in points, 267 points back. Despite the trade, 15th in points, 349 points back. Gov Tracy, Daytona 500, where 17th in points, 372 points back. And today, tonight's winner, the Coca Cola 600 winner. NYY for his 2020th in points, 385 points back. As we will show you the rest of the point standings right now. Here are the rest of the point standings. As we will, I will let you know that the next race will be Wednesday, August 31st, 2011 at Dover International Raceway. Again, August 31st, 2011, Wednesday at Dover International Raceway. Well, congratulations to NYY Force 20 on winning the Coca-Cola 600 here at Lowest Motor Speedway. We will see you at Dover.